Oh, potholes, they're the worst. Yes, yes. Especially That's... when you're trying to tweet and then bang, you just have a typo. <laughs> oh, another one. Oh. Yeah, tweet again. <laughs> Over the past 15 years, Canadian singer-songwriter Sarah Sleen has made eight albums. She's written for two string quartets and been nominated for three Junos. Now she's bringing her sea tour to stages across the country, and BT's Jenna Khan caught up with her before a sold-out show at the West End Cultural Centre. Sarah Sleen with Strings bringing the tour across the country and joining us now. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Oh, my pleasure. So this is the C part of your Land and Sea release that came out a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. What has this experience been like? It's a big show to take on the road. It is, it is. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people, a lot of strings, a lot of delicate instruments, a lot of traveling, but we have a big bus outside. And the way that I devised this tour was, um, as you know, on the recording, it's 21-piece orchestra. Not possible. I don't think they make <laughs> buses that big. But um, I decided to take five core strings that covers all the voices of the scores that I wrote. And then where possible, in the venues that are large enough and the cities that can accommodate us, we are hiring on symphonic players locally. So it's been amazing. In Ottawa, we had a full 12-piece section on stage. We're doing that in several cities uh, out west. Here we have nine. And it's just an extraordinary sound. It's big, it's cinematic, it's really quite powerful emotionally and um, to be up there and in the middle of that sound is quite an experience so we're hoping that the audience can take that home with them. Well that's the thing, it's something, a real treat for the audience who isn't going to see a show like this very often at a venue like this that's nice and intimate. Absolutely. Um, as far as uh, when you first had this idea, did anybody say, Sarah, that's crazy, this is a ridiculous People thing to take to on the road? People say that to me on a daily basis. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Um, it's kind of my litmus test, right? If people raise their eyebrows and look at me like, oh God, here she goes again, I feel like I'm on the right track. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's impractically large. Um, but this is the music that came through me and I have no choice but to, to try and render it as faithfully as possible. So that's what I'm doing and I'm just lucky to uh, live in this country where there are arts councils that will support us <laughs> and wonderful public that will buy tickets to our shows so we're excited. Very nice, well definitely glad that you did. Tell me about something really cool that you're doing, the Joy Jar. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure, yeah, show. well uh, we get so much information these days we're just bombarded with Twitter feeds and news and uh, most of it is negative. Most of it is about what's going wrong in the world. And we forget that it's news because it's news. Literally, it's news because so much is going right in the world. Trees are still growing. Babies are being born perfect. Friends are hugging each other, you know. People, enemies are reconciling. Like, great things are happening all over the world. And we forget that, and we don't get any of that. The idea of the Joy Jar is that you put a little message on a card and put it in the jar, and then you can take one. And we're taking this across the country. And the idea is to just pass on a bit of positivity to a random stranger. And it can really be anything. It could be your favorite quote. It could be a statistic about um, how successful disease prevention is in Uganda right now. <laughs> you know, it could be anything positive. but is just to illustrate how significant that is. What we're putting in our minds is changing the sort of internal climate. And if we can feed ourselves more positivity, I think it really makes a big difference. Very nice. And I think that uh, it's definitely good to maybe take that second, sit back and think, what is something I would like to put in a joy jar? And That's right. You can do that for yourself. You can uh, send an email. You can also tweet it with a hashtag, the joy jar. Joy jar. Joy jar. There you go. And uh, Sarah continues on her tour. And we thank you so much for taking some time to thank chat you. with us. Thank you. Thank you, Winnipeg.